In this video, we're going to be looking at recognizing bias in survey questions. Remember, that was a way that we can collect data. So when writing a survey, it's important to word survey questions so they do not lead to biased results. And biased questions are questions that are flawed in a way that leads to inaccurate results. And so we want to avoid questions, for instance, that encourage a particular response, do not provide enough information to give an accurate opinion, are too sensitive to answer truthfully, and address more than one issue. So we're gonna practice identifying and correcting bias in survey questions. So we're gonna explain why each survey question may be biased or otherwise introduce bias into a survey, then describe a way to correct the flaw. So number one says a dentist surveys his patients by asking, do you brush your teeth at least twice a day and floss every day? So this could introduce some bias because patients who brush less than twice per day or do not fl floss daily may be afraid to admit this because the dentist is asking the question. So here, it, I'm gonna say it may be too sensitive to answer truthfully. And one way that we could correct this flaw is to instead have patients answer questions about dental hygiene on paper and then put the paper anonymously into a box. So I'm gonna say, have patients answer on paper and put anonymously into a box. This could take away from the sensitivity issue of being afraid to admit that you don't brush your teeth twice a day or floss every day because you're answering anonymously. Okay, and then number two says, do you agree that our school cafeteria should switch to a healthier menu? So now this one, this could introduce bias because it encourages a particular response and that is because it says, do you agree? So it's kind of insinuating that most people are saying that the school cafeteria should switch to a healthier menu. So I wanna say it encourages a particular response. fix this issue, we could instead maybe just ask students what if they think the school cafeteria should switch to a healthier menu. So I'm going to instead ask opinion.